Okay, last strategy for finding the reasonable answer when we are estimating. So our objective, last day for it, how can I estimate the solution to an addition word problem? So far we've talked about rounding with both numbers, changing one number, and front end estimation. Our last strategy is using a number line. You can see as I fold down, we still have our rounding column that we'll continue to use. And we're going to pull down a little bit more and look at the reasons why we might use strategy number four to use a number line. If you're a visual learner and really like to write things down and look at the process, this would be a great strategy. Another reason, if you can add and count by tens, you like multiples of tens, this would be another great strategy for you. Numbers three, four, and five is when we find the different types of questions. So the first type we can use rounding with a number line is answering a little more than or a little less than questions. When we find the range, which is when it's asking us if it's between two multiples of 10. So for example, between 20 and 30. And the last is when we find the exact answer. We're going to cross this one off today because we are estimating and we don't need to find the exact answer. So we're going to try each of these with this question. And it reads, the boys and girls in fifth grade had a fishing contest. The girls caught 28 fish. The boys caught 43 fish. About how many fish did the fifth graders catch all together? So as you practice, the first thing we do, circle our numbers and underline our keywords. About means to round. All together means to add. You might even want to put this in your connection to prior knowledge because I'm sure many of you have remembered this for the past three days. The next step is to write down the number sentence, 43 plus 28. So we see a number line below and you have a number line on your back page that you can use. So 43, we need to start somewhere on this number line. So I'm going to think to myself, where should I start this number line? Well, I see the number 43, and that's in the range of 40 to 50. So I'm going to start my number line just like that, 40, 50. And now I'm going to continue with all of my other tick marks on my number line, counting by tens throughout the way, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Now we may not use all of these tick marks, but it's smart to fill out the whole thing so we can see how far we can go. The next step is to look at the number 28. We're going to split the number 28 by using expanded notation, which means each place value is going to be represented separately. So the number 2 is in the tens place, which means it's equal to 20. The number 8 is in the ones place, which means we're at 8. So now we're going to look at how we use the two numbers, 43 and 28. So we're going to start down on our number line now, and we're going to start at 43. So I see I have 40, and I'm going to count up to 43. 40, 41, 42, 43. I'm going to put a big X here and label it 43. Now, we have to move 28. To move 28 easily, we're going to use our expanded notation. So we have to move 20 and then 8. To move 20, I'm going to think about jumping by multiples of 10. So I know there are two 10s in 20. So that's exactly what we're going to show on our number line. So I'm going to jump 10, and you can see I'm estimating here. And I think this is approximately where I would find 53. So we added our first 10. I have one more 10 to go. 63. And we added another 10. So now we can check off. I've moved 20. Now I'm going to make eight tick marks after 63. And we'll figure out where we leave off. So 63, now we count up by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven on my big bold line, eight. So I'm going to count now and see where we are. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. And I'm just going to check my work. I'm going to write 63 plus 8 to make sure. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry my 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. So check. I was correct. So now up at the top, I'm going to rewrite 43 plus 28 is equal to 71. Because we are estimating, we need to approximate this. So it's approximately 70 because 71 is closest to 70 as its multiple of 10, which means 70 is a, excuse me, 71 is a little more than 70. And it shows us just that on our number line. We can see that 71 is just a little bit more than our line for 70. So I want you to take these notes. You're going to bring them in tomorrow, and we're going to test out all that you've learned. Good luck.